Hello students, welcome to the next video of Trichopedia and in this Trichopedia video, let us talk about the shortcut for determining whether the system has unique solution. Okay, because there's a very common question in gate determine the system has unique solution, infinite and no solution. Definitely, I'll bring up the video for another two as well. That is the infinite and no case, but let's talk about the unique case here. So, you know, let's say, uh, let's start with the most common category that is expected for you, three variables. And normally for three variables, we expect three equations. Let us start with three equations, although sometimes there may be underdetermined system with two equations or there may be over determined system with four equations or more than four as well okay but yeah let's say three variable and three equations are given to you and normally we convert this into the matrix form which is known as ax equal to which is the very foundation i hope you know this a is known as what this a is known as the coefficient matrix okay in the previous case it was three by three in the previous case, it was 3 by 3. In general, it is n by n if you have n equations and n variables. But again, I'm telling you, if it is underdetermined or overdetermined system, generally the matrix A is of the size m cross n. It is of the size m cross n, where m is the number of equations and n is the number of variables. Right. This is generally you must know. M is the number of equations. N is the number of variables. That is the general size of the A matrix. Now we form an augmented matrix. Okay. Combine A and B matrix. Okay. And uh, we write it like this. This is the B matrix, the right hand side constant column. And this is A is to B. Okay. First of all, let me just revise you the uh, total rule so that I can give you the trick also. Okay. The total actual theorem is the Rauch's theorem, which says that the, whenever the rank of coefficient matrix equal to the rank of augmented matrix, then the system is consistent. Let me put this into the flow chart. Okay, let's have a read of this flow chart. So that's what whenever the rank of coefficient matrix is same as the rank of augmented matrix and suppose that is equal to R. Okay, then the system is consistent. Consistent means it will give some solution, maybe one or maybe many solution, right? If rank of both of them does not equal, then it is inconsistent giving no solution, right? Now, if both the ranks are equal and equal to N, where N is number of variables, where n is the number of variables, then the system is said to have unique solution. Then the system is said to have unique solution. Now, we have to shortcut this. Right. So, what I am trying to tell you that rank of A equal to rank of A is to be equal to N. So, that means rank of A equal to N. And if A is a square matrix, especially, right. If A is a square matrix, there comes the tricks and 90% of the questions are based on square matrix only. Okay, that is number of equations and number of variables are same. So whenever you have a n cross n square matrix, what is the condition that the matrix will have rank n? It is known as the full rank condition. When will a matrix have full rank? Okay, when will the matrix have full rank? When its determinant is non-zero. When its determinant is not equal to zero. So that is the only possible step you have to apply for the unique solution. That means whenever determinant not equal to zero, system will have the unique solution. Are you getting it? And then we can find out what is X, but usually we are not finding out what is X, what is the solution, but we have to confirm whether there is a unique or not. Okay, so for the system to have unique solution, coefficient matrix should be non-singular. That is determinant not equal to zero. Let's quickly apply this then. We are waiting for what? Nothing. For what values of k, the system of equation have unique solution? Nothing. Just one step answer. 1, 1, 2. Determinant of coefficient. Okay. So, we don't need the right hand side number. Only the coefficients of x, y, z. Okay. Then I have 1, 2, 4. And then I have 1, 3 and k. And this determinant should not be equal to 0. So, when I solve it up, I have 2k minus 12. Okay. I have 2k minus 12. And then minus k minus 4. Okay, and then plus 2. Okay, and then this is 3 minus 2. This is not equal to 0. So, I am getting 2k minus 12 minus k plus 4 and plus 2 not equal to 0, which tell that k minus 12 plus 6k not equal to 6. I can just check out the calculations once. Yes, I think that is all okay. Correct. So, k not equal to 6. Okay. So, what are the values of k? Any value of k not equal to 6 is applicable here. Any value of k not equal to 6 will be applicable here. Moving ahead to the next question. Let's take one more very quickly. So, what is that? For the system of equation, okay, given to you, which of the following is true? And the options are talking about system having unique solution. So, very clear. 1, 1, 1. Only the coefficient matrix. Then I have 1, 2, 3. And then lastly, I have 1, 2 and lambda. The determinant of this should not be equal to 0. Quickly solving it again. 2 lambda minus 6 minus 1 into lambda minus 3 plus 1 into this is cancelled 2 minus 2 not equal to 0. So, I have 2 lambda minus 6 minus lambda plus 3 not equal to 0. So, what I am eventually getting is lambda 
and that should not be equal to 3 and there is no rule of mu here there is no role of mu here right so definitely the system has unique solution if lambda not equal to 3 option number c there is nothing to do with mu mu will come in the case of unique solution and uh, sorry it will come in the case of infinite and no solution but for unique solution only condition is lambda not equal to 3 and if you have understood the trick do not forget to like the session and if you are enjoying subscribe so that you get more such videos and one homework and a request Solve this homework and after solving it, comment its answer immediately in the comment box and then I shall also revert back you whether your answer is correct or not. Look into this question, note down this question, okay, and take the screenshot, solve it up and do mention in the comment box and then I'll tell you whether the answer is right or wrong. It's very simple. I hope most of you are going to make it out. Okay, so that's it. Guys, don't worry. I will bring another such videos. Okay, one video I'll talk about the trick for infinite solution very, 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 very quickly and one trick for solving the no solution case again very, 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 very easily. That's it from my side. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.